Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Vidger. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Urban Artifact. This is the Gadget. Um, this is a raspberry, blackberry, Midwest fruit tart sour. Mm, sour. Mm -hmm. Guess what? 8% sour. Mm, sour. Mm -hmm. um, so, I've had very few Urban Artifact beers. Um, but I think this may actually be the first one I've reviewed on cans. Um, I've had a couple and I've had good luck with them too. Oh my gracious. <laughs> right? Holy berries, Batman. Yes. I like it. Can you smell it? I can smell it. It's got a pink head on it. It's pink. Oh, right, you can go in first on this Ooh, one. If you want. It smells, smells lovely. It smells like a sour. I don't like a sour. I'm, I'm really getting into ciders and sours right now. Uh, as you can see by which videos I've been putting out lately. Uh, I don't know. Just been finding some good ciders mm. and I've been finding a lot of good sours. Good. Okay, the head goes away quick. Let's see. Smells like a sour for sure. It's a little tart. Get a little bit. Right. It's very berry. I like that a lot. <laughs> well, it has so much flavor. There's no way I would have told you that was 8%. Mm -mm. Mm. I get in trouble. Girl, you get smashed on this if you didn't watch it. It's like, it's like just drinking fruit juice. This is sour. So much flavor. So here's my question. Why would you drink a seltzer when you can have a sour or a cider? You don't have to drink regular beer. You also don't have to drink static. Um, <laughs> well, if, if you guys are viewers of this channel, you know, like, we've tried. Who wouldn't want this over a seltzer? I don't know. I would. I think this is really good. Seltzer's not beer. Tis true. Tis true. Whoa, hold on. This Midwest fruit tart has 1,200 pounds of Oregon raspberries, 1,200 pounds of Oregon blackberries, and 30 grams of vanilla beans per 30 barrel bat. 30, okay, here's the thing. Unless you're a cook, you may not realize that 30 grams of vanilla beans is a whole lot of vanilla beans. I mean, but jeez. It's yummy. Yeah, this this is pretty like neat. Um, it says that it is a explosive power of sour beers with a dangerous flavor of fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. I I'm, I will concur. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah say that spot on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the color. I like the flavor. I like that it's 8%. Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm. This is delicious. I have a couple more of these. Sweet. <laughs> no, I'm sour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so far, the only problem that I have with this beer is that you really would have to pace yourself or you could Oh, 8%, I'm in trouble. Trouble. Yeah. I'm a lightweight these days. And that's trouble. Yeah. That's really neat. That's a good flavor. Because, like, I just want to drink the whole thing, like, right now. You can. We got a toast. Hmm. Don't drink the whole thing. I don't know. Um, it's very fermented. I guess just the easiest thing to to sum up this beer is very tart, 
but it's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's flavorful. It's juicy. I really like. I really like the mouthfeel, mm -hmm. and it makes you salivate. It makes it even more juicy, and I don't know. Like it's pretty too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you've got that buddy that'll pick on you because it's a pink bear. Whatever. To tell him his his uh, natural light's only four or something percent, so you know. Who's got the real bear? Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> um, now, I don't know how many I could drink in a row um, without being either either break it up with food or break yeah. it up with something in between because it is pretty tart. Oh, it is. This 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 knocks on the door like the police. Yeah, there's uh, there's nothing subtle about this. No, beer. there is nothing subtle about it. Nothing subtle about the looks or the taste. It says, "Here I am." Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Though. Me too. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it. Hey, if you guys are digging this video, and we hope you are, uh, hit the like. Consider subscribing three times a week. Ring the bell. You'll get notified. Uh, me and my friends drinking beers, uh, reviewing things about beers, doing beer type stuff. Uh, we have a good time. Come join us. Join in on the fun. Um, I'll see what I can find to put in the description. Uh, in the description, you'll also find my links, social media, merch, all that kind of stuff. Uh, are you digging this t-shirt? Yeah, I designed this. Uh, check out my merch store on Redbubble there. I, uh, you can get a sticker, you can get a tote bag, whatever. Mouse you know? pad, shower curtain, you name it. Yeah. I, uh, I'll get some money if you buy something, and then I'll use it to buy more beer. And do more videos. Yep. Um, it's the circle of life. Right. This will be in my sour playlist. I got a bunch of in my sour playlist right now. Hey, are you guys digging playlists? Uh, I'm starting to make more of those. I just think it's an easy way to find stuff and hopefully even find new things. Right. Um, so I'm trying to make more of those, you know. I think they're super helpful. Yeah, especially when you've got as many videos as I have. I have mm. uh, approaching 900 when I'm filming this. For no other reason, it helps you keep them organized. Yes. <laughs> uh, it might help you, but it helps me a lot. Um <laughs> So let's talk about this or some other sour. Or just shoot the breeze down there in the comments section and we're going to get into it. Um, did you dig it? I did. I did a lot. Would you have another? I would. Yeah, good. Because I got three more and Yay. they're pretty damn tasty. Um, I'm still not feeling any of the 8%, which is scary, which means I would get, <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to hit me all at once. <laughs> Middle of one of the videos, I'm going to go roll. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be good with food. I think so. I also think this would be a good gateway beer where you could pull in your non-beer drinking friend. Like, oh man, you don't try this. So. This uh, is how you get people away from seltzers. True. Uh, you know, your, your, your friend that only drinks like vodka cran might dig this. Yes, I'm a vodka cranberry fan myself. Um, so yeah, sure. Yeah. This, this would be kind of nice. Don't even have to add liquor to it. It's already 8%. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, now, I don't really know how hard it is to find because I'm starting to find these guys in our market more and in our surrounding markets because they're from Ohio. Uh, so, hopefully, Hi. I'll have more of their videos on my channel. Uh, you know, find more of their beers. Excellent. All right. So, on my scale of 1 to 10, 1 pints, the lowest 10 pints is the highest. I think, I'm going to rate it as a sour. Yeah, as a sour? I think as a 9 is a sour. Holy. I was going to give it an 8. I think as a sour, it's definitely a 9. I can see that. Um, I'm at an 8. It's I mean, eight. I'm at an 8 it's just an eight. as a beer. Yeah, it's a, it's, yes. Yeah. Absolutely, as a beer, it's an 8. Um. In the, the sour red, category, the it's... The red color makes it mine. <laughs> All right. Got you on that. Okay. <laughs> I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
some of this stuff is subjective, and that's okay. <laughs> you rate how you want to rate. I rate how I want to that's rate. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's what it's all about. Yeah. But overall, I'm I'm super pleased with this beer. Yeah. I like it. Glad I got a couple more. Right. Yep. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>